In this video, I'll show you how to migrate your Blackboard assignments to Canvas. So the first step is going to be to export them into a Blackboard zip file, and then we'll import that zip file into Canvas. So let's start here in Blackboard. You'll notice I've got several assignments on this page, I think about 14 or 15, um, and those I need to export over to Canvas. So to package these up, I go down to Control Panel, Packages and Utilities, Export Archive Course. I'm going to go to Export Package. Um, just to be safe, I'm going to choose this second option, copy links and include copies of the files. Um, that's if you're uh, linking to files that also need to be moved over to Canvas. Um, in my content area here, I'm going to select Assignments. I'm also going to select Grade Center Columns and Settings. So because I'm bringing over Assignments, I also have to bring over the Grade Center Columns and Settings for Assignments. So go ahead and click Submit. It's going to create an archive zip file. I get an email when that process is complete, but it should be pretty quick. Um, I can also sit here and click on the Refresh button. And there it is, the one that I um, that was just now created. I can go ahead and open this, which downloads it to my local computer here and now I'll be able to import that into Canvas. So I go over to Canvas. You can see there's no assignments in this Canvas class yet. I'm going to go down to Settings, and then I'm going to click the Import Course Content button in that right panel. From my drop-down list, I'm going to tell it that I'm importing a Blackboard 6789 export.zip file, and then I go out and find that export file that I just created. Let's see. There's the one. Click Open. Um, I'm going to put all content. I'm going to bring all content in because I know that the only thing in that is my assignment. Um, and what I needed to get out of Blackboard in order for my assignments to come over. I'm going to hit Import. So that's running. I got a status bar there. We'll see how quickly that completes. Hoping very soon I could pause the video. There we go. Okay, now let's go over to Assignments. And we should see now that we are seeing all 16 or so of those assignments that came from Blackboard. Now, if you don't bring over Blackboard Grade Center and Columns and Settings, that won't work. So if you've tried that before, then make sure your export um, screen in Blackboard that you're checking this box. And that should um, bring over your assignments. Um, now because of that you'll notice here that there's actually a lot of assignments that got pulled over into Canvas. So I've actually got Grade Center, um, these are my Grade Center columns from Blackboard. And here is my actual assignment. So if you look over at my assignments in Blackboard, let me go to Assignments, Final project to your website, extra credit, and then it's module 14, module 13, module 12, module 11. So that's what these are, my actual assignments with points attached to them. Um, the other assignment groups and assignments are what the import process does to the grade center columns that I had to bring over from Blackboard as well. So I can go into these and delete those entire that entire uh, assignment group because I know all of those were associated with Blackboard grade center columns, which I don't need any longer. So I'm going to delete that group. And then I can do the same for all of these additional groups that were created as part of that import process. So it does take a little cleanup. The good news is, is that it should import the assignments from Blackboard. Just going through each one of these and deleting. 
So remember to bring over Blackboard assignments as well as the Grade Center columns and settings knowing that it is going to require a little bit of cleanup once you get, a, get them over to Canvas. Oops. Um, as you delete that extra assignment group that gets created. Now you can always double check too in your Canvas Grade Center. Once you get that cleaned up, you should only find columns for the assignments that you um, have pulled over from Blackboard. I hope that helps.